What's up guys, it's Quick Shift here today doing another video. Today I am going to be showing you the brand new map changes in season six. As you saw in my previous video, um that uh link in the description below, I did a whole review on the battle pass. I'm currently tier 36 as you can see. And yes, your boy he copped the skull trooper and the skull ranger and he's got and he copped the skull sickle but unfortunately i didn't get this because i it's not that i didn't have enough v bucks it's just that i didn't really like it that much but yeah your boy copped those um good those skins so yeah these this is the item shop i didn't really want to show you the item shop but uh here's the item shop guys behold emote interesting yeah guys just wanted to say that i copped the skull trooper and the skull ranger skins saying now the skull trooper skin if you are an og an og owner of the skull trooper you would receive a purple glow but because i'm not i only receive the two options which is the normal and the green glow so here are the skull trooper challenges i just want to quickly get them off my chest before i show you the map changes so you they've now put in the news now guys saying attention skull troopers earn the ghost portal battling which is the dope uh faster if you complete 20 matches by the 10th no the 14th of october which is sunday so you must complete at least 20 matches so you play 20 matches and complete them in the time space the time frame from friday to sunday so guys get into your games sweat out and grind fortnite because you want to get that bat bling and if you do that you will have the bat bling granted for next week as you can see crash uh quad crasher looks dope can't wait to try it out and fortnite android beta is coming out as well so yeah um i'm gonna quickly just head into a playground um and i also just wanted uh yeah that's it that i just wanted to show you some of the challenges i'll show you when i get uh, into the uh, lobby because if you're on playstation don't know about xbox if you press the options button you can go down to challenges you can see here and they've added this in for season six and it shows you all your challenges so you don't need to worry about pressing the map button and then it has it on the side for suggested challenges now that's all done so guys the first place that has a map change just had to say thank you to the bus driver because you know he's taking me around the first place we're going to go guys is here yep you can be wondering why over there well over there haunted hills has become there has a new addition there's a new addition at haunted hills um what they've added in guys is a massive spooky scary mysterious whatever you want to call it castle um mansion castle haunted just haunted um they've still kept it the name is haunted hills but on top of the hill there's a massive structure uh so we're gonna i'm just gonna quickly show you that guys and i'm gonna try and show you all the chest forms so if you do land here you will be able to find uh all the chests most of the loot and everything yeah that's it pretty much so this is the castle here guys have put it on um, low gra low gravity so it's like easier to see so as you can see it's like that you can get some rifts that spawn here sometimes as you can see from here but I don't need a rift because I could just jump up see I could just jump up so yeah this is the castle guys so um some there's usually a chest if you can see wait if I just come out here you can see a chest is right in there. There's usually a chest in here. Usually an AR or a weapon there. There's usually some weapons down there. Yeah, you can see a, a green pub. Oh, running machine. Gold. Nice. Uh, there's always an ammo box down that side, guys. Just to give you, let you know if you need to get any ammo. There's either ammo or... Um, oh, hello, bats. Didn't notice that. They got bats. Um, so there's either ammo or a gun here with ammo. And then there's another chest there. Um, if you do want to um, get some more weapons, head. you might want to head over more the west side of uh, the building. So there's, you can see the guns, with the ammo. This part here, uh, there's a chest top bit there. 
this bit you it's a bit difficult and unusual to get through but you eventually make it you so you get usually loot at the top you get a chest down at the bottom um and then if you keep going down you'll get another weapon or uh something at the bottom as well and you come down to this part here and you don't need to worry guys because all you can just do is just break these trees simple as and then all you got to do is just build back up or if you don't want to do that, you can build across. I'm failing right now. So yeah, and you can build back up to here. Uh, my suggestion is to not go all the way drop down unless you've got a launch pad or something to help you get back up. So this side, um, it's a bit more different. Um, it's when you go down here you can feel the dynamics and the dimensions of the whole structure because when you walk up it actually feels like you're walking up a massive mountain um so yeah instead of having to go all the way through up there you can just walk up this part here easier simple done uh there's sometimes a chest yeah there's a chest here so every time at each of these towers at the top they all have a chest every time so you got some wood there and um I'm quickly gonna head in to uh, show you guys the uh, inside of the haunted castle. So uh, let's just head in. So the haunted castle has a top floor and a bottom floor. So this is the top floor at the current moment. So you get a chest here, two ammo boxes. You, you sometimes get a chest here sometimes. Um, you could get up to here and there's an ammo box there all, all the time. Uh, you get weapons and stuff along here there's usually um, some like there's usually like some chests that are sometimes like here yeah like if I break this I think there's a chest here yeah there's like chests behind the walls um, and yeah that's most that's mostly it for like the top floor bit oh no forgot to tell you about this chest here as well so if you want to go down to the bottom floor guys what you want to do is you want to come out of these bits and then you want to go around you could either go around and break a bit here but I don't know why some would want to do that unless there's an enemy or the easiest way how I get down there is I get through this little tiny gap and I drop down here and there's usually like ammo there uh, so yeah ammo mini stuff don't drop down here because then you won't be able to get back up and then you can get to this part here which you, you it's like the Queen's throne or something there's always ammo boxes there there's always a chest in here there's usually a gun in here sometimes um, and then out here yeah there's a chest there and then again don't drop down here because then you're doomed so yeah that's the um that's the haunted castle for you guys so um if you um if you uh ever want to come over here i've just showed you where all the chest spots are most of the loot where they go and um accessibility uh, it's accessible to rifts as well so yeah guys, um, I'm quickly pumping the surf and then we're going to go to the next location. Just wanted to quickly mention, as you may guys know, there's like a massive floating island that came up from Loot Lake. If you saw in my, my season 6 video, the trailer came up with everything. Oh hi llama, quickly pop this llama. Every single rune that's across the map, it has activated causing it to leave this murky purple, purple like black vibe violet like esque uh colors so it's left shadow cubes that have re, re that have spawned and these sort of areas are like bounce pads but sort of unusual and um it like immerses like it's like cracked and it immerses it like emitting a beacon so yeah i just wanted to quickly show you that guys because um every single uh, part around the map so hit this 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 rune is activated this rune is activated this one is activated this one is and it's currently activating the one in Wailing Woods so you'll possibly see that one near Lazy Links activate and this one here activate as well so yeah I just wanted to quickly just 
mention that. So the next uh, place we're going to head over to is um, we're going to head over to oh, I'm in the way of a tree. Um, we're going to head over to um, where should we head to? I'm trying to think. Wait, one sec, guys. I'm quickly just trying to think where the next uh, news places. Hey guys, so the next place I want to quickly show you is in Fatal Fields, yes guys, uh, Fatal Fields, they haven't done much, well, they have, but they haven't, at the same time, the only thing that they have changed uh, in there is, um, if you guys have been checking Twitter recently, well I have, um, Fortnite have been uh, depositing, uh, how should I say it, oh, uh, um, They've been depositing. Yes, guys, bounce pads are in playground. Just saying, from now. Um, Fortnite have been depositing um, Halloween um, decorations. So there's Halloween decorations. Oh God, didn't realise I put that down. Um, never mind. They've been depositing Halloween decorations. So everywhere across the map, there's Halloween decorations. So yeah, um, some of the new features that have been added into the game. One is describing this tall grass here. So yeah, guys, I didn't actually know there's a chest in here. Good to know. Um, this tall grass here, as you can see, you can break it. You can literally hide in here. Like it's super, it's super stealthy. Like you can hide in here. Like it's it's insane you can break it and that's what it looks like it gives you well i'm in playground so it'll give you 20 wood uh but yeah this is what it looks like guys so say i chuck something in there that's what will happen if i chuck a port of in there it will do that um so yeah that's it really um they just added in this nice tall grass uh so it kind of adds the esque for farmland and the one thing that they have added as well is Halloween decorations which I've mentioned they've put ghosts and like witches and skeletons and tombstones everywhere guys everywhere so yeah there's more things over there as well so um, the next place I want to go to is um, Funny enough, Wailing Woods, yeah, that's mostly the most iconic place where we want to go to, guys. Um, the reason why, uh, well, the reason for that is you'll have to find out when we get there. But yeah, um, the places where they have most of the Halloween decorations are, is Retail Row, Paradise Palms, Fatal, F some in Fatal Field, most, some in Greasy, mostly in Tilted, quite a lot in Lazy Links, um, there are a few, there's um, some in Pleasant Park, some of the houses are decorated, some in Snobby Shore, yeah, they're, they're everywhere guys, like everywhere, I think there's some here, and I think that's all of it, no, there's some in Lucky Landing as well, so those are all where the Halloween decorations are, um, so we're going to head over to uh, Wailing Woods, I'm just going to quickly speed it up, and um, yeah, uh, that will... That would, I would just want to quickly show you what is in Wailing Woods because it's actually pretty cool. So yeah, head over there, guys. All right, guys. So I'm now just approaching Wailing Woods. I just got some impulse grenades because I wasn't really catching up some speed. So yeah, as you can see, the floating island is activating the rune. Everything's rising above. It's like weird science stuff. Should be carrying me in the air now. Yeah, there you are. On the uh, runes, there's like chests and stuff. Hello, hi, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin the cube. If you shoot him, he doesn't like it. Um, some of the differences: the cube has taken over the house. Just saying for now. Um, so, one, the where we really need to go to is not about the Flitton Island. Is here, guys. The reason why I want to come here is because they've added in some, how should I say, it, some cabins into the game. So in the game, you've got these like nice 
lodges, cabins, everything, chests underneath, chests above, everything. And then you go destroying stuff, you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Destroy, 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 destroy. What they've actually added into the game, guys, a mystery entrance. And this, guys, is the entrance to what will be in progress in development a route to the underground bunker so yeah that's uh, one of the uh, development in um of the underground bunker things that will happen for the bunker um the main way you can get into the bunker is not only just by that there's other ways there's a bigger cabin here it's like my gosh it's big um so yeah it's more of a family cabin here you got upstairs as well for this part it's more expanded uh yes yeah, it's, it's quite nice it's really nice they put a lot of development into this uh and again underneath you're like whoa this is so cool this is so cool oh my god oh my god oh my god this is so cool and then waboosh another entrance but this one is more developed as you can see so if you come up here and you keep going and you keep going you got another staircase here so this room here leads into the bunker as well so yeah there's like it's like it's like really weird so there's there's so many like rooms in like the bunkers where you can get into like uh yeah into the bunker there's like drawers and things underground parts everything so yeah this is another entrance guys um that's the second entrance for the bunker i know there is three bunkers uh known around wailing woods just want to quickly get out of here because like i want to show you where the uh, actual bunker is like the full-on bunker because it's dope all right so as you see people thought oh my gosh it was gonna open well bro it's not open the bunker here is not open but the thing is if you look inside there's nothing in there so yeah this is the final um underground like no this is the final uh cabin this one's more like the small one but just a bit more developed it's got garage garage or like if you want to call it a car parking space or whatever you want to call it i don't say i don't say garage i say girl i don't i don't say girl i never mind forget about it um again break this down come through yay another entrance you can come back up here sneak through here behind this woods inside of the garage yeah so the last place I want to show you guys before I end the video is in Wailing Woods itself. Because they've changed it up quite a bit. I mean, it was never like this. I mean, it wasn't, it was all mazes and everything. But no, it's all smooth ground, car, like barbed wires and there's like cameras everywhere. So we don't know whatever games is hiding from us. But if you break this wind thing, you head down and you're like, oh my gosh. But then if you crash down, come through. Bro, you're in the bunker, the underground bunker, guys. It's here, it's alive, it's made. It's everywhere, guys. Oh my gosh, it's insane. It's actually pretty cool, I can't lie. I've only been here like a couple times. For some reason, they have a rift in here. Don't know how a rift got in here. Um, so yeah, you got many chests in here. Uh, it, it's really big so there's like tons of entrances so you could get in from somewhere um, and there's just so many ways you can get in I think they might make it like a massive route plan so yeah that's it guys I wanted to show you so um, just want to say thank you so much for watching this like video I know it's been quite a long video uh, well because I've been mentioning all the different things that have been happening um, while they're in the game um, please do drop a subscribe button because guys we've got over 100 subscribers I will be doing a subscriber special soon I won't be doing it yet so um, if you drop a like I'd really appreciate it um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um, and this is quick shifter saying goodbye guys bye